So have you ever watched your favorite movie and wish that you could step into the screen and walk through the scenes with your favorite actors? Well, what if I told you that that experience was available to you right here in South Africa? It's called immersive theater and it's taking entertainment to a whole nother level. At the Castle of Good Hope, a multi-sensory experience combining dance, design, sound and smell awaits in 12 large rooms over three floors. Here, the audience participates in the immersive theatre show called Immortal. Immersive theatre is all the rage right now in cities like London, New York, Los Angeles. And what it does is it, it allows the audience to shift from being faceless, passive observers of the action to having the freedom to choose their own adventure, to go wherever they want to, to touch anything they see, to smell, to taste. And it's a really innovative, one-of-a-kind experience in that sense. So when you arrive at Immortal, you will be ushered into our beautiful space here at the castle, and you will be met by the lady of the house, the heiress. She will welcome you, introduce the proceedings, and from there you will be able to wander anywhere you want to in the building, go anywhere you choose. Every performance is completely different depending on the route chosen by the audience and whether or not they follow an actor through a story and interact with the scenic elements. What makes this kind of acting different to traditional theatres? Well, obviously here we don't have the proscenium arch and obviously there's multiple different types of performance, but what is special here is that the narrative is determined by the audience member. So you as an actor have a very specific storyline that you're following, but determining on how the audience interacts with you when they find you throughout the performance, they'll all have a different experience. I really enjoy the fact that you get to see the audience quite up close and you get to create sort of a new experience every evening depending on how that person reacted to what is happening in that space or in that moment. So really getting to see the audience's reactions and sort of create a piece of theatre with them is really cool. Alice, tell me about the style of choreography you chose and what did you hope to achieve with this performance? It's unlike anything I've ever done before because this production was really sort of at the intersection of dance and theatre and physical theatre and movement. So um, every character has like a different kind of way of moving that sort of tells their story. So uh, yeah, it's difficult to sort of put it in a box of, you know, what style it is. There are eight characters portrayed by actors, but scenic designer Nicola Mayer firmly believes the ninth character is the scenic environment uniquely created in each room. I can get lost on this set. This is incredible. Oh, good. <laughs> Nikki, what was the inspiration for you behind the set design for this production? Very difficult to answer because generally it comes from the narrative, but because it's immersive theatre, there's so many narratives happening in the space at any given time. So in this particular instance, I looked more at each character and the environment that they needed to be in. There's absolutely nothing on the set that holds no meaning. So if you're looking at something on the set, you need to smell it, you need to touch it, you need to turn the page over. There's, if there's a book, the title or the content in it is very specific and has meaning. Given that the Castle of Good Hope is a heritage site, what were some of the challenges you faced? There's always the story of ghosts in the castle, which is quite interesting. So a lot of people were very worried about working late at night. Um, so we had to put on a lot of people during the day because people were nervous. Um, rightly so. <laughs> um, strange things do happen in the castle, what I'm going to say. We are working in a space that is over 350 years old, but that's also the beauty of the experience. It's so unique in that sense. You know, the audience goes wandering around and you can hear every creaking door as an audience member passes through. Um, if you're walking down a narrow stairwell, an actor might rush past you. And that, that intimacy can only be truly achieved in a space like this. You too can be part of this out-of-the-box performance art by enjoying Immortal at the Castle of Good Hope in Cape Town, running until the 14th of January, 2018.